What's going on everybody? Toby Wan Shinobi here and today I'm going to try to help you improve at Fortnite Zero Build much, much faster. And this is through the use of creative maps and a formula for improvement. So buckle in, this should be a good one. Now let's just start off with something a little controversial here. Um, I see a lot of people playing red versus blue maps in creative. They play red versus blue. I, I know a lot of people that I just see online, a lot of my friends, just playing red versus blue as kind of training or practice. I'm gonna say it right now, that is not a good way to practice at all. Uh, it is unrealistic. There's a lot of unrealistic loadouts, a lot of broken weapons, a lot of broken utility. Uh, it's a team mode on a unrealistic map. The movement speed multiplier is like 25%, so you're actually moving faster in there than a real game. Uh, the majority of your enemies are very, very novice usually around age 10 or so, if I were to guess. And if there is a sweaty player in there, they're usually using some like mythic grappler and just flying across the map with like a heisted maven shotgun and just deleting your existence when you're not looking at them and that sort of thing. Just annoying gameplay. And this goes for the pit zero build as well. I'm not trying to be a hater on these, these maps. I really, really enjoy these maps. They're a lot of fun, but I do think they are not good practice. And I think that they instill bad habits and a lot of people don't realize that. For instance, the pit zero build or the pit of any sort has your name above your head. Everyone's got names or got icons above their head. Everyone can see each other's location on the map and that's already instilling bad habits because that just makes you feel like you have wall hacks all the time and then you start doing really stupid things and then you bring those stupid things into real battle royale gameplay and you wonder why you're not getting better at the game. Well, newsflash, you're playing against bad players on average in those maps because because there's no skill-based matchmaking and you're not using realistic environments, realistic cover, and you're not really putting a lot of tactics or strategy into your fights. Most of the fights in these maps are just pure 50-50s and that means that basically you're relying on just your aim and your movement in fights instead of positioning and cover and tactics or utility, right? You're just jumping out there with a gun, getting in each other's faces, shooting each other with shotguns or your spray weapon, and just kind of like, you know, trying to outskill everybody, which is a very, very bad habit and I promise you will not reach anything higher than elite ranked in Fortnite Zero Build if you have that type of tendency. Now, I am also speaking from a place of experience as well. Like, I have played these maps, you know, I used to think that this was good practice, and I did this a lot. Practicing movement and aim is fine in these types of maps. Practicing, you know, your 50-50 fights, hitting those shots, that sort of stuff is fine, right? It is good aim practice. It is good practice for 50-50s. But again, you got to be really careful about just playing these maps all the time because they do instill bad habits you will now bring into Fortnite Battle Royale and you'll get smashed by better players who are using good positioning and cover and tactics. So what am I suggesting instead? Well, first of all, I do suggest still using creative maps to improve, but play maps that are more realistic and have higher skilled players on average. The first map that I'd recommend is the Shinobi Free For All map code on screen now. Now this is my own map and I have designed it to be realistic free for all that has current season weaponry and a balanced loot pool. There's limited utility pickups and resources so you can't just spam shockwaves and escape every fight or you can't be on flowberry effect or nitro splash effect the entire game. You know that kind of stuff is cheesy, it's not realistic and everything that I've designed with this map is to try to make it as as realistic as possible in a free-for-all environment. And I've put a lot of time into designing this map to be balanced, right? I made it so there's a realistic environment with nice terrain, buildings, cars. There's only five players on the map to reduce the amount of third partying that happens. And there's a short respawn time between deaths and you only get a modest 75% health regen. So you don't get your full health back instantly. And there's also a rank system in this map to help you determine if you're improving and something to grind for. Now, the thing about this map is it's an FFA, so there's going to be a lot of combat. There will be some third partying, but it is definitely going to be much, much better than the pit or red versus blue for improving your skills because those fights are gonna be much more realistic with, you know, limited utility, realistic loadouts, a realistic environment, and you're gonna have to win your fights using positioning and cover a lot more often. So go ahead and punch that map code in and leave a favorite on the map. And also I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like on the map. And the way you do that is by pressing start, going to the exit button, 
and instead of exiting, you hit leave a like on the map. That is going to help promote the map to others and help the population grow. And I will be starting to promo this map quite a bit really soon here because I want to see a lot more players on this, a lot more people there to improve their skills. And I am putting a lot of effort into improving the map week by week. Now, another great map for practicing your combat and your tactics is Rapid 2v2s or Rapid 1v1s. Map code on screen now. Now, this is a round-based game with balanced loadouts and limited utility. It's really about bunker fighting, right? You spawn in and one of your teammates has bunkers, you throw it down, and then you've got very, very limited cover except for your bunkers, and you've got a little bit of utility that you've got to figure out how to use. It really forces you to learn how to use that utility well and position yourself well. It's heavy on tactics and using what you've got in your environment and in your inventory. So I honestly think this is one of the best maps for improving your tactics and strategy. It really helps with your combat game sense and learning how to bunker fight. Now, I will note that when you play these maps and these modes, you might get beat up really bad and feel like you're just terrible at the game. It might leave you feeling pretty crappy. And the thing you have to remember is that everybody starts somewhere. A black belt is just just a white belt who never gave up and a master has failed more times than a beginner has even tried. Yes, those two quotes are a little corny, but they're true. You gotta put in the work, you gotta lose your ego, you gotta be humble, and just accept that you're there to learn. It doesn't matter what other people think of you, and honestly, if you keep at it and you keep playing against better players, someday you're gonna be the one dunking on them. So overall, the most important thing is to have a growth mindset when you're playing these maps and these modes, because yes, these these are skilled players and you've got to learn from them. The fastest way to grow is to learn from the better players. Defeat and failure truly is the best teacher and you won't get anywhere fast by beating players of less skill than you. You're really not going to learn a lot from them and you're definitely instilling bad habits. So one of the most important things here is to use replays. Use the replay system in Fortnite or record your own gameplay and then analyze your fights and your enemy's tactics and learn what you can improve on. Learn what they're doing that you're not doing and start putting that into your own gameplay. Now, analyzing your own gameplay and your enemy's gameplay is pretty much something that 99% of players don't do. Like a lot of players probably know that they should, they've heard that, but they don't do it. And I will credit like 80% of my rapid skill growth to just analyzing my own gameplay because it makes a massive, massive difference. It really helps you realize what you could have done better, right? There's always a lot more options than you can see when you're fighting someone live, right? There's a ton of options that you just didn't even consider. What was in your inventory? What was your surroundings like? You know, did you have bunkers? Did you have shockwaves? Was there some cover to your left? Could you have escaped somehow? There's always a lot of options and you just don't see them during the fight. So review your gameplay, take notes on it, and I will show you how to do that best by watching the video at the end of this video. All right, now let's just really quickly cover what I think the optimal skill development roadmap is for Fortnite Zero Build. This is truly what I would recommend to anyone who's starting off of the game who wants to get better, right? They want to improve their skills as fast as possible. Well, here is the roadmap that I'd give you. Number one, start playing Fortnite and realize you need to get better at combat. Combat is the backbone of Fortnite Zero Build and Fortnite in general. You just got to get comfortable in combat before you can really do anything else. Before you can develop game sense or tactics, you just have to get comfortable with your aim and your movement. And the way you can do that is by doing number two. Play creative maps with casual combat like Red vs. Blue and then practice your 50-50 fights, your movement and your aim using weapons that are within the current season of Battle Royale. Play these modes until you're at an acceptable level of skill where you're kind of keeping up with most average players in the lobby and you're able to hold your own. Number three, once you feel comfortable in combat, start playing realistic combat maps in creative such as Shinobi FFA or Rapid 2v2s. And then number four, start playing Battle Royale with a mindset of positioning first. Get yourself in a good position, use good cover in your fights, and even then you'll still realize that your positioning and your aim and your movement, your combat is just not as good as you want it to be. So then you need to proceed to step five, and that is analyzing your own gameplay by recording it or using the replay feature in Fortnite, and then determine what your weaknesses are and how you could best improve. Start like really analyzing your gameplay. What is it that you're not doing well? What is it that you could improve? 
improve on and then just pick one skill to work on at a time. You can write down all your problems, right? Pick one thing to work on and then go to step six and that is returning to Shinobi FFA or another realistic combat map and focus only on that skill. Pretty much ignore everything else. It doesn't matter if you're getting destroyed and you're losing the game horribly. Just focus on a single skill. Don't care about winning. Don't care about your kill death. For instance, if you're trying to improve your use of cover, just always be playing cover you know as soon as you spawn in run to a piece of cover and just practice playing that piece of cover really well or just always looking at every single fight as play cover first play cover first play cover first right that is super important practice one thing at a time i promise you will improve so much faster if you do that and then proceed to step seven which is basically repeating those last three steps over and over again with a new skill every single time until you become a very well-rounded player then you can proceed to step eight once you're a well-rounded player start working ranked solos zero build into your gameplay i know a lot of people hate solos they hate ranked do it it's going to push you it's going to make you a better player start analyzing that gameplay and then also start playing zone wars game types in zero build in creative maps as well again record your gameplay here or use the replay system and really analyze your own gameplay analyze your enemies tactics and what they're doing how they're beating you i will continue to say that it is a really really good way of improving now now, just to be clear, the reason that I'm recommending ranked zero build solos is because you've got no one else to rely on, right? It's just you and you're playing against all real players of your skill level, right? As you play, you will continue to rank and then you'll kind of plateau and you'll kind of get placed in your actual rank, your true skill, right? And then you're pretty much just playing against players that are around your skill level, which is really, really helpful for improvement as well, as long as you're analyzing your own gameplay. Normal battle royale lobbies, which people call pubs lobbies, just don't have tight enough skill-based matchmaking. They have a lot of bots or AI, and uh, you know people don't play them very seriously. They aren't using the most strategic gameplay. You're gonna have to push yourself if you play ranked, and you will fail a lot, which is a good thing because there's a lot to learn. All right, once you've done that, you can move to step 10, which is basically just repeating all the things I said for about a year straight until you find yourself among the top 5% of players in the world, maybe top 10% of players. But if you're really, really grinding, you're really working hard, to improve yourself, I think you can easily land within the top 5% of players in the world with just a year of really grinding. And if you're wondering how much time you should be spending, I would say try to do like two hours a day or maybe 10 hours a week. I think that is really kind of the minimum for really, really fast improvement. And then obviously you can always play more if you have the time. And if you think that this method doesn't work and you can't do this within a year, then I think you should watch my How I Got Good at Fortnite within a year video because this is exactly what I did. And I was on a brand new platform coming from a controller to mouse and keyboard. I also had a brand new baby and a full-time job and I wasn't able to play all that often but I became an unreal player within a year. All right, and then finally, step 11. If you want to take yourself to the next level, once you become a very good player, you're going to want to find a duo or a partner, preferably someone who's actually better than you or as good as you, and then learn the game together. Push each other, practice in 1v1s, play ranked duos, etc. Having someone to play with and against on a consistent basis, someone who can talk strategy with you or challenge your ideas even, you know, work as a team, is really, really helpful. And I recommend this because it's similar to the gym, right? People that go to the gym start off by themselves, usually stop going to the gym after like just a couple months. You know, they get in a routine, they start going, and then like they just kind of get bored. They, they're not really pushing themselves. But when you go with a friend or you have someone to meet, you guys push each other, right? And that is what having a duo kind of can do for you if you're serious about it and you're both kind of at the same skill level. And that is what having a duo can do for you if you're serious about it and you're really relatively within the same skill level. All right, now if you follow that little 11 step program, do it for a year or two, I promise you are going to improve your skills insanely fast. And I highly encourage you to keep at least a couple recordings from each month of progress so that you can watch them back over time and you get a nice feeling about how your skills are progressing. Because a lot of times it'll feel like you're really not getting better, but then when you go back and watch older gameplay, you'll probably realize that you are improving. It's just hard to see on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you wanna take your game to the next level by doing that, watch this video right here. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. It's free. And please consider using code Toby One Shinobi in your Fortnite item shop to support me and my family. Thank you so much. Have yourself a great day. Shinobi out.